Greetings everyone and welcome to the Smalls Archive. Basically, this is all my old videos that I had on my first channel and then my current channel back when I was doing sneaker videos and most of the time I really don't know what I'm talking about but just roll along with it. After my channel became what it is today, I stopped doing sneaker reviews and took them all down and never intended for anyone to ever see these again. However, after many months of thinking about it, I've decided to re-release these videos in a re-edited form that's much better than the original videos I posted. Stuff like my intro and outro as well as my watermark are changed and parts that I feel pace up the video are also altered. I did these DHK cheapo sneaker reviews for entertainment and educational purposes only and I do not endorse the sales of any replica products whatsoever. This intro will be on each archive video so just to warn people in case they stumble across this and think it's a brand new video from me. But anyways, enjoy these crappy terrible videos that get slightly better over time. Hello again and welcome back to another video. Now I've received another pair of shoes off DHgate. This time I've got a pair of Air Max 90s. I've been looking at the Air Maxes on there for a while and I haven't really shown much interest in them, but I figured I may as well get them because they were only $36. So they arrived today in a lovely garbage bag. Here are the Air Max 90s. Now, to be honest, they feel quite decent. For the money I paid, they've got weight to them, which is a good thing. They do almost feel like the real thing. So let's have a look at the front. I know it's a little bit muted, but this is like a, um, a suede sort of leather material. Very nice. The tongues both have the Nike Air Max on them. You can see there. Front looks really, really good. Now I chose the speckled paint option because it looked the best to me. There's a whole variety of colors from the seller. Uh, you can choose like white and red and blue and red and all these sort of colors. So hopefully these are the right color scheme. Now I do own two other pairs of Air Max. So that's why I'm saying that these kind of feel pretty good. Air Max wording there looks all right. Doesn't look too bad. The paint speckle around here, I'm not too sure if it was supposed to extend onto here. And you can see right through there, you can see the um, the platformy bits. Very nice quality so far. On the back, I think it's a little off. The Nike and the Airs are just a little bit, it's hard to say, like, this one feels like it's sort of bent. It could be just me. And onto the other side, practically the same thing. Not much difference. They've actually constructed quite well I must say and as I said they're heavy so that's good and the bottom is different materials so you've got like more rubber grip there and then you've got a different material here there's the Nike logo quite solid same as that one as well and there's the tongue of the shoe there this is US 11 made on the 18th of the 1st 2017 looks pretty close to the real thing as far as I can tell shoelaces I'm not too sure if they're anything different once again it's just sort of as it is the inside is just this very cheap looking sole with the print on here. Not much cushioning to it. And then inside, you can see there's stitching all around there. So I own a pair of Air Max Skylines and a pair of Air Max STs. Now I got these ones from Japan and they lasted me quite a while. They're still quite good. So these are just different models in comparison. Straight away, both of my pairs are 11.5s, whereas this one is 11. And you can see that there's a considerable amount from there. So these probably aren't true size 11s. Underneath is sort of the same pattern with the squares and all that stuff. But obviously this is different because they're the 90s. You can kind of tell there, you can definitely see the differences. They're not terribly bad. It could have been misspelled or anything like that, but I think it's quite well done. Uh, it might be off a little bit to the untrained eye. And even mine says Nike Better World, and yeah, that looks exactly the same as the one on the fakes. I think the closest is my MX STs. They're a lot different. These seem to have a little bit more cushioning than the fakes. It feels better on there than it does on there. Just going back over the cushioning, to be honest, these are quite hard inside, but that's what the Amex is supposed to be because of all of this being sort of the comforting area. So I'll just pull out one of these just to see. So we've got the Nike tick under there, but you can see the stitching quality in my STs. And once again on the Air Max Skylines, you can see that this has got the cushioning. So that's probably the first thing you're gonna tell between the fakes and the reels is the uh, insole is definitely different. But construction wise and wearing them, I just put them on, tried them and they feel like the real thing. I wish I had a pair of actual Air Max 90s to compare them to. Showcasing them and the feel of them 
they feel quite solid. I'm gonna probably wear them over the next week and sort of see how they are, maybe post an update. They don't come with a box, unfortunately. I asked for a box, but the seller didn't reply to me. Um, obviously, sending a box costs too much. It probably would have been all crumpled up anyways. You guys tell me what you think. Do you think this is a worthy pair of $36 Air Maxes or $46 or $47 Australian? Do you think they're worth it? I mean, they're not expensive shoes anyways. Like, they're not Yeezys or anything like that. They're not super expensive shoes. I thought, may as well buy a pair, see what they're like. And, well, yeah, this is what they're like. Stitching seems pretty okay. Anyways, that's all from me. If you have a pair of these, let me know if they look like the real deal. I mean, comparing them to my other ones, just that insole is probably the worst part of it. I remember when I bought my STs over in Japan, they were 8,700 yen. And that was a steal for these. And these lasted me my whole trip. Thank you for watching. Any thoughts, leave them in the comments below. Let me know if you think I should buy another pair of shoes off DHgate that might be worth taking a look at. Any feedback is always appreciated. And thanks for all your support in watching these videos and I hope to continue with more of them. So these are the Air Max 90s from DHgate. See you next time. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you made it to the end, you got through some really cringy old s'mores. If you liked it though, leave a like. If not, then feel free to dislike. I'll see you in the next one.